Well, hello and welcome back. And my apologies, I've not put many videos out uh, recently. Um, as I've said before, on YouTube is a purely a hobby to me, and I only do you know things that I think are interesting, and other people I hope might find something of interest in, in the videos. So, um, and there's you know um, there's not been a lot going on. Um, I've been um, doing quite a bit of. Um, hard landscaping and, and um, relaying a patio which um, there's, there's umpteen videos on that on YouTube and and um, the weather hasn't been you know brilliant um, to video that anyway and I didn't think it was worthy of, of making a video so um, but um, obviously yesterday was the first day of spring and I'm sure many of you like me are getting your lawn mowers out and um, you know, if, if you haven't done already, I, I seem to have cut my grass two, if not three, probably four times. I even cut the grass this year in January here. Um, I have been having trouble the last few years, I must be honest. This, this is a, um, a hater a lawnmower, a nice mower. Um, it's a rear roller, so it gives you quite a nice finish to the lawn. It gives you a stripe, you know, if you want that. Um, it's got the uh, Briggs and Stratton engine, I think it's, it's um, Spirit or Sprint, I can't ever remember. It's a Brig Briggs and Stratton anyway. Um, not a particularly big horsepower engine. And um, I'm sure like many people out there, we put our lawn mowers away, you know, we might cut the grass at the end of October or even into November, and then we put them away. Like this, this lives inside in, in a nice shed. Um, but, you know, you, you never drain the petrol, you never run it out of petrol, as you probably should nowadays with this um, ethanol petrol. And um, I have been having so many problems with this mower the last couple of years. Sure, it's getting on in years now. I think this is about um, 10 years old. Um, but um, for those familiar with Briggs Stratton engines, I, I've had endless trouble with the um, diaphragm on the carburettor. And um, I think there again, it was as much my fault because I bought probably cheap parts off eBay. I think they were probably Chinese clone uh, rubber diaphragms. And um, they seemed pretty hopeless. You know, they, they didn't seem to last, you know, long at all. Um, and then I had one that wouldn't seal, it leaked um, when it was sucking petrol up and um, a total you know, nightmare. And, um, and as you know, as I, with my e-bikes, I don't own a car, so um, it's not the easiest things to go to a petrol station and buy small amounts of petrol. Um, and round here, there isn't that many petrol stations that actually sell the unleaded fuel that you need to put in these because most of this petrol now is E10 petrol which I'm assured you should not use in smaller engines like this because that even makes these situations worse with like the rubber parts um, and the general running of the engine. So um, what I thought I would do, I, I um, our local uh, mower shop actually um, sells this Aspen fuel and um, this is for sh uh, four stroke petrol engines uh, <laughs> you're obviously um, it's a lot lot dearer than petrol um, I think you know to buy this um, in the mower shop was about 20 pounds for five liters but um, the uh, beauty of this fuel is it hasn't got ethanol in uh, it shouldn't go off in the tank. It is um, solely designed for smaller uh, four-stroke engines. And I believe it was designed um, in Sweden for people using chainsaws because the fumes that um, come out the exhaust aren't quite so harmful on this fuel. Um, and obviously, you know, when you're standing with a chainsaw cutting trees all day in, day out, and you're breathing a certain amount of that, um, I think that was one of the reasons it was developed. So I'm going to trial this um, in my mower this year. Um, I haven't put any in yet. I want to use what little drop is of petrol is in the tank and clean the tank all out before I put any of this in. But um, I've seen quite a few YouTubes on this and in fact one site a guy actually 
in America this was. Um, I don't think we have access to, there seems many of these types of fuels in America. And um, he poured a catfall onto a white plate and then just set fire to it. And when you saw the soot and smoke that was left of ordinary pump fuel, and then he did the same with this Aspen fuel, um, the, plate, the plate was totally clean after it had burnt. There was no, no soot or deposits left. So um, it's, I'm going to be trialling that and we'll see how we get on. And obviously I'll, I'll let you know how it goes in my mower. Do I find it any better? You know, will it solve this endless diaphragm replacement problems or has, have I just been unlucky buying these? The last one I put in was a proper Briggs Stratton part, I have to say diaphragm, and that seems a lot, lot better. Um, I've also, obviously, um, as I've said before, I cut wood and so I have uh, a chainsaw, um, just a, a smallish chainsaw. Um, so I've, I've also got some of this Aspen uh, two-stroke, which is ready mixed up. It's 50 to one, and it's specially designed for, um, you know, disc cutters, chainsaws, hedge trimmers. Um, and I thought, wow, that's really easy. There again, not cheap. Um, that will cost you anything. You know, I think the cheapest I've seen it is £21, going right up, you know, £30 for five litres. Um, so obviously if you're using a lot of fuel, it's probably not, you know, really the ideal solution for you. But as I use such a minimal amount of fuel, um, and, you know, I've had this problem with this fuel going off with, um, you know, there again, I do, I'm, I'm quite good with my chainsaw. I do normally run that out of petrol and drain any out of the tank and then and start it again and run it out the carb so there's no fuel in there. Because there's no doubt about it, this modern fuel does not store, it does not keep. So we'll have a whirl and I'll, you know, I'll come back when I've tried this um, and um, had a go with it. I'll come back and let you know how I found and was it worth the money? Um, to me, obviously, it's great to be able to buy this. I don't have to go to a garage. Um, one of those, you know, fits it. They're nice, very nice, um, uh, chunky, very, seem very solid containers, I have to say. Because obviously, after all, it is, it is a petrol fuel. It's got the, you'll see, it's got the, the warning on the back. But, <coughs> but one of those fits in my cycle panniers. It's not too heavy for that. It's fine, and I feel quite safe, you know, doing that. Um, and that's a lot better for me than having to go and find a garage and fill a, um, you know, a green jerry can up with um, pump fuel. So, um, yeah, there we go. We will see um, how we get on with this Aspen fuel and see if it is what it is cracked up to be. And um, I just thought that was of interest that um, you can buy this if you're having trouble um, with this modern fuel. Um, I, it even says on this one, as you know, I'm... It's a picture of a lawnmower on that, you perhaps won't see that. But it even does mention, I notice, oh, there's a picture there, that it's very good um, to use in four-stroke outboards. But, but there again, I think that could be quite, you know, an expensive um, way of, you know, buying fuel. But, um, any, but, but, you know, probably five litres of petrol today at some garages would probably cost you £10 anyway. Um, so um, no fuel is cheap, unfortunately, particularly at the moment in time. So anyway, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. And as I say, um, we'll have a look at this Aspen fuel. And um, as soon as I've got some in and got the tank cleaned out and... Um, you know, I'll put some in and I'll, I'll tell you how I'm going getting on with it, whether it starts easy or what. Perhaps if you've had experience of this and use this and got any thoughts and comments on this, well, please do let me know because I'll be interested. It, it, was, a, it was a new thing that I found, you know, in, in, in our mower shop um, that sells lawn mowers. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, um, thank you as always. Thanks to everybody that's subscribed, to all the new subscribers. And um, I will be doing, hopefully, one or two more interesting videos again. Um, now, as I know, particularly it's spring and the, the better weather is here. And um, so thank you for bearing with me. And um, I'll see you in a future video. And um, I should be letting you know how I'm getting on with this Aspen fuel anyway in the future. Or in the next few weeks, certainly, anyway. So until then... 
my best wishes and thanks again and please do think about subscribing if you're new and um, like comment and as I say if you have any thoughts and comments about this Aspen fuel please do drop them in the comments below if you've had trouble with it or not liked it or got on really well with it I'd love to hear so um, until then until next time bye for now